My phone is not even two years old and the battery is draining like crazy, some apps won't even work properly, the LCD screen is halfway broken. But what about drones? Is there also a drone obsolescence? I will test my old P3 Professional to see if it still performs good or if I can use it just as a paperweight. First of all, to those who don't know what obsolescence is, Obsolescence is the state of being which occurs when an object, service or practice is no longer wanted, even though it may still be in good working order. But let's be even more precise and talk about technological obsolescence. Technical obsolescence usually occurs when a new product or technology supersedes the old one and it is preferred to use the new technology instead. Okay, honestly, I don't understand why people purchase smartphones or tablets every single year without even caring. We've had technological obsolescence over and over in human history, but never at this pace. Any creation has always made the previous version obsolete. The difference is now that we mostly live with technological advances we can touch or feel, companies can do, redo and manipulate us in any way. In this video I don't want to get too philosophical, but it's a fact, especially um, in modern technology companies or ICTs, information and communication technologies, that they are selling more or less good hardware, but they update software so fast, even a bunch of times within the same year, that some Something that costs you, let's say, a thousand bucks is obsolete after 18 months. This should be prohibited. This is a major disgrace. Easy example. Easy example, you buy this smartphone in 2018, seven or eight hundred bucks, brand new, latest technology in the market, works flawlessly, but after a year it starts doing strange stuff. The battery starts draining super fast, the screen is not as bright as it was, some apps start bugging your phone. And what are we now? Late 2020? This thing is getting so bad day after day that the brand makes me feel that this thing is not worthy anymore. And here are two things. First of all, a super tiny technological improvement over the past two years and an unstopped cheap hardware deterioration. The second part, the hardware deterioration, is sick. Especially the batteries being lithium work at 50% or less of what they used to when being new. The plastics of a phone, depending on the model, start getting colored or break, the ports to charge start breaking or not working, the buttons, I don't know. But the criminal part is the software. Apps or operating systems are now getting uh, updated almost on a weekly basis. This means the development comes in small portions so that you don't really notice major differences, but after a couple of years the improvements have been so huge that you may not be able anymore to even start some of your favorite apps. And if a major operating systems update comes, then you can almost throw your old smartphone into the garbage. And it's unimportant if you never ever dropped your phone, you spend 500 bucks on the best protecting case and uh, stuff like that. It doesn't matter because your smartphone is old after just 18 months. And I don't even want to talk about how they push you, I mean the brands, like crazy into buying the newer models which are essentially the same bad technology but with a wider lens so that you can now look cool for your 17 followers on Instagram, half of them being your family. But okay, now enough of the heat, let's finally talk about drones. Popular user drones have not been too long in the market. Right here I have the Phantom 3 Professional which was launched early 2015 and it's almost six years ago now. By the time I was using the smartphone, which of course does not... just kidding this one, which of course does not even work anymore. Plus, if it would, I wouldn't be able to use probably 9 out of 10 apps. But let's see what happens if I connect my Phantom 3 Professional to my phone with the remote controller, which back then was as big as my apartment. Honestly, I have not done this in quite some time and this is also an experiment for myself. And from now on, there is no script, so this is kind of a test. Let's see what happens, if firmware is out there, if the app works, if my phone works, I have no idea. Okay, now I'm gonna connect my phone to the controller. I'm gonna screen record my screen. Okay, one sec. Okay, filming. Let me connect this. Oh, it just took a screenshot. 
I'm sorry, just, you know, this old thing's holding the phone. Now I turned my phone off. Okay, this is something. <gasps> Jesus Christ, it just restarted my whole phone. No. Come on. Yes, restarting my phone. Uh, 18 old months phone. Two hours to get restarted. See, this is what I was talking about, about obsolescence on phones. Now my screen is not working. <laughs> my screen is not working. Look at this. Look at this. It's not working. Jesus Christ. Okay, recording. I'm really curious. I just had to download my DJI Go One app again. Oh, now the Bixby. Now the Bixby key. Jesus. Okay. Oh, remember. Inspire One Raw, by the way. Uh, I have this battery. I'm gonna charge it and um, I have to connect my phone. I should have thought about this a little bit earlier, so I did not have to record this and wait now 50 minutes or whatever. Okay, now the battery is finally charged. Let's turn this thing on. I hope it actually does work. Nostalgia with those sounds. Look at the gimbal. Look at the gimbal. Oh, okay. So. Let's turn this thing on. Okay, breathe. Sorry guys, I just completely forgot how to link, to how to relink the drone to the controller. I have no idea. Um, Ah, uh, let me just re-film my screen. One second. Start recording. <clears throat> okay, guys, so now finally I do have linked. Let me see what it says. Updates required, of course. Air Aircraft update required. See firmware upgrade tutorial videos in Academy for details. Yeah, sure. What the hell does this mean? I don't really care about this. I'm just curious if I can fly this thing or not. Probably yes, the battery, let's see what the battery says. The voltage seems to be okay, everything seems to be okay. The temperature, yeah, it's hot right now here. I had to update the controller before. I have not been able to update the drone, which I don't understand really why. Oh yeah, I remember that. If I'm not mistaken, this drone is upgraded and updated via micro SD. So yeah, I guess I'm gonna do this. One eternity later. You know how long it has been since I didn't put these props on my drone? I don't even know which side anymore. Let me just fast forward this so you don't get bored. Okay, so if you're wondering why I look like this, well, this is actually how I look when I'm home. I mean, shit happens. <laughs> so let me see, I'm really curious. I'm gonna be filming the screen now. I'm really curious to see if I can actually fly this thing. And for that, I'm of course going to be screen recording my phone. Okay, so I have updated everything. I'm really curious to see how long it can be hovering. So let's see, oh my God. Take off. Why is it so unstable? Okay, I'm really curious. It says around 18 minutes. Uh, 18 minutes flight time. Which is pretty decent after such a long time. And everything seems to be working good. I mean, it has 13 or 14 satellites. The battery doesn't drain too fast. The sensors down at the bottom work. The map is working. Everything seems to be working. So, uh, oh, look at this. This is me. I'm gonna put this down. Yeah, remember you have to do it smoothly because um, it doesn't have those all those kind of sensors and helps. Well, uh, 18 minutes. If I'm not mistaken, the promised flight time was around 23 or 25 minutes. Um, after five years, I think 
it's pretty decent. Everything seems to be working good, as you can see here. Uh, the manual mode, every everything works. I mean, you can do it probably. The battery, of course, is not going to be like it was five years ago, but it's the least that you can expect for something that has lithium inside, of course. Um, apart from that, I'm assuming that you may still purchase new batteries from the Phantom 3 Professional. And in this case, it will work with all those amount of minutes that you should be when you buy it new. So um, let's get back to the studio. Well guys, as you could see, um, everything seems to be pretty decent and there is not supposed to be any drone obsolescence right now. I'm really curious to know what you guys think about this thing. Uh, will we have at some point some updates for, for example, this drone that won't allow me anymore to uh, fly it. I'm really curious because right now it works flawlessly. It works perfect. I can do my things with this drone as you've seen and I really I'm really really curious to see if DJI will start doing this thing as the smartphone brands or laptop brands do that um, this you know this programmed obsolescence to let you not be able to use your stuff after a couple of years anymore. I think actually this experiment was fun to see because it told us that in a new business I mean really a new business less than 10 years uh, user drones where the user drone market has really become popular um, there is no such thing as obsolescence yet at least on DJI. AI products. I would like to see on some older um, drones, but I don't have any parrot drones from back then or anything like that. Let me know in the comments if you do have those kind of drones and if they do work still and if you can do your thing with it. This is my favorite drone. This was the first that I bought with my own money after working really a lot. So this will always be in my heart and I'm really, really happy that it has no problems to be still working actually. Maybe I'll do some nice footage eventually sometime soon. Nothing really else to say guys, I hope that you liked this video. If you made it this far, leave the thumb. Again, let me know in the comments if you do know anything or you wanna add anything because I've been looking up drone obsolescence on YouTube and there's not a single video out there. Not a single Google News uh, is registered. So this is something that is not happening yet. This is why I thought this video was really helpful. Nothing really else to say guys. Always remember to keep calm and talk to you later. Now my pin, okay. Okay, one sec. Cortas aquí, Javi, porque ya tengo una cargado. Hostias. Sí, sí, sí. Pues no se conecta esto ahora. Puta, le iba a cortar.